Like, I needed someone to come and help me go to the washroom. I had to call the nurses in just to, uh, you know, lift the head of the bed up and to put it down. Um, so, yeah, the nurses would come in and check on me and check on the baby ever so often. And about maybe two hours after um, the baby was delivered and I was in the room, uh, my midwives left. Uh, my husband actually left for a bit too to clean up um, at home. And the nurses came and I think it was because I had a forceps delivery and that I didn't get that skin to skin contact with the baby right away like I wanted. Because they say that when you have, when the baby's born and you put him right to your skin, um, it can regulate its temperature faster and get a um, good breathing rate better. So yeah, the baby was actually um, breathing rapidly. So they took him to the NICU and put him in an incubator. Um, they didn't take a bl his blood or anything or give him oxygen. They just wanted to monitor him. So there I was in the hospital room um, with three other mothers and their babies. They all had their kind of curtains drawn. And I was just laying there um, by myself um, without my baby. So, um, and it was really hard to even, like I couldn't even get out of the bed because I was in a lot of pain as well. Yeah, so, um, I was pretty upset. I was like, I don't know, I think it was bawling the whole time I was in the hospital. And um, in the middle of the night, they brought my baby to me and said that he was hungry. So I tried to breastfeed him. And the nurse tried to help me out. Um, I don't know if I, if I got him to latch properly, but it, he looked like he was... Um, suckling so um, they left me with him and they um, said that they would come back and um, take him back to the incubator when I was done so I was finished and I didn't call the nurses to come because I didn't want him, them to take him away and so I am um, I fell asleep with the baby beside me and the nurses um, came back and they saw that, you know, he was already sleeping and I was sleeping so they left me with him and um, yeah, so in the morning um, one of the midwives came back to check up on me and they checked on the baby. Um, my, oh, my husband actually came back um, the evening as well. Um, but he had to leave because husbands can't stay overnight or anything. They had to leave by 8 o'clock. And so it was in the morning. They checked the baby and we left the hospital. Um, the baby's breathing had um, regulated at that time because when they brought him in um, for the feeding, like I, he had no clothes on, just his diaper. And I, and I um, didn't have any clothes on either, so he was like... Um, sleeping right, we were skin to skin at that time. So his breathing rate had regulated at that time and so he was free to go home and um, yeah so we went home and it was nice. Um, my doula came over and um, she helped me out with the breastfeeding and it's going really well now. Um, he's getting breastfed exclusively um, but yeah, it's really nice to be a mom. The recovery took a while. It took me actually three days to be able to get, um, out of the bed without, um, any pain. Um, oh, actually not without pain. Without, like, excruciating pain. Um, I took painkillers for at least two weeks after that. And I think it was because of it was a forceps delivery. And because he was posterior as well, I hear that's pretty um, hard on a woman's body. Yeah, so everything's going good. I um, 
will have another home birth. Um, it was just, you know, only 10% of babies are born posteriorly and uh, only, actually, probably 90, 95% of babies are born with their, you know, head in the right position. So I was the 5% that had his chin extended. So I don't think, hopefully that's not going to happen again. It was pretty, uh, you know, um, a rare situation that w that it happened that way. And I was pretty happy with how my midwives handled the whole situation, that um, they let me stay at home as long as I could. You know, I got to push for almost two hours before they decided to transport me. And, um, yeah, I have a healthy baby from it. And, um... Yeah, I'll show you a video of him. He's sleeping. I just got him to sleep. Hey, honey. His name is Marquise. And he's about 10 pounds now. So, that's my son. Born nice and healthy.